As you go through your day, driving to school or to sports practice, using a cell phone or an iPad, installing software for a computer game, or even raising money for charity, you are surrounded by pictures showing you fractions, decimals, and percents. With a quick glance, you know when a glass is full, half full, or nearly empty. When you see a battery icon, you can tell whether it's completely charged, half charged, or exactly a quarter. Because you know these things automatically, you can see for yourself that decimals, fractions, and percents give you different ways of stating the same information. You can show the parts of a pizza or the parts of a group the same way. When you see any fraction, decimal, or percent, remember that you can express it in two other ways. Practice converting fractions into decimals and decimals into percents. It's easy once you see how. Divide the numerator by the denominator. The numerator 4 divided by the denominator 8 equals 0.5 or 5 tenths. That shows you the decimal. 0.5 times 100 is 50 or 50%. Multiply the decimal by 100, and you've got the percent. Let's try another example. We'll convert the fraction 25 one hundredths to its equivalent in decimals, and then into its equivalent in percents. Divide the numerator, 25, by the denominator, 100. The quotient is the decimal, 0.25, or 25 one hundredths. You see that the fraction 25 one hundredths equals 0.25 of the whole number, 1. To turn the decimal into a percent, multiply it by 100. 0.25 times 100 equals 25, or 25 percent. And here's a final illustration, 4 fifths. 5, the denominator, goes into 4, the numerator, 0.8 times. Multiply 0.8 by 100, and your product will be 80. You can see that 4 fifths is the same as 80%. Fractions, decimals, and percents are everywhere. Find some, and see how easily you can change their format. Now go practice!